call this meeting of Ohio King Fiscal Court to order on this uh, 5th day of June, 10th day of June, got it wrong on here, 10th day of June 2024. At 5 p.m., we're going to ask our sheriff, Adam Wright, to lead us in a prayer and a pledge to the flag. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this wonderful day and we thank you for the people that's in this room. Father, I pray that you watch over and guide them, give them the strength and wisdom they need. Father, we pray that you be with those around the world who are hurting. We pray that those who haven't found you, find you soon. Father, we thank you for all the wonderful things that you provide for us. In your name we pray. Amen. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and, and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, before you have the uh, minutes of the May 28th meeting, we need a motion to approve. Motion by Larry Morphew. Second. Second by Bo Bennett. Is there any discussion? Any discussion, corrections, or additions to the meeting? Being none, on favor say aye. aye. Opposed, like sign. Most carries. Uh, before you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers, including a late list, we need a motion to approve that. I should say, I, we don't. That's, that's my topic. Your, your light list is underneath your mics. I saw the light, yeah. Hang on a second. I have a motion second, then we can discuss it. I'll make a motion. Motion second. by Jason Bullock. Second. Second by Michael McKinney. Discussion. Questions? Being none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Bills are paid. You have before you the treasurer's uh, May financial report. We need to uh, acknowledge. Yes. So moved. Motion by Larry Morphew. Second. Second by Bo Bennett. Is there any discussion or questions for the treasurer? Being none. All in favor say aye. Opposed like sign, motion carries. We have the clerk's April and May financial report. It's the same way we need to to uh, acknowledge we got motion by Larry Morphew. Second. Second by Bo Bennett. Any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. That was April. Now I need the same thing for May. Motion, motion by Bo. Second. Second by Michael. Any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Okay, uh, the last meeting we had the first reading of Ordinance 2024-6 on those few changes on the administrative code. This will be the second reading because it's ordinance. I I'll make a motion to accept uh, Administrator Code second reading the 2024-6. Motion by Jason. Second. Second by Michael. Got it. Ready? Any discussion? It is an ordinance. You have to roll call it. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Passed the the second reading of administrative court ordinance passed. Next we have the solar farm ordinance second reading. Uh, twenty twenty four day seven. Just like the first one, correct? No yes. Changes. Right. So moved. Motion by Larry Morphew. 
I'll second it. Second by Jason Bullock. Any discussion? And if we find anything wrong with this, is it changes? Because I know this you, is you can amend it. You can always yeah. amend it because yeah. I know this is going to be a, probably a, a constant change. For a yeah. Possibly, but I feel good about it. Oh, I know it's sudden we don't have dust in here, but it's more so to keep the construction of the mm -hmm. things in line uh, more so than anything. So. Mm -hmm. All right. I've got my opinion about it, what it's going to do to farm land, but we don't have no control over that. No. Well, they got to buy it, and it's, the property owner's got to agree to sell it. Go ahead and roll call. wonder if they can, uh, can they, what do you call that, take it? Condemnation. That's a good start. Yeah. Uh, yeah, go for it. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yeah. Yes. Bennett? That's right. Yes. Johnston? Yes. Yeah. Morphew? Yes. Yeah. That, uh, that passes well. The next thing I talked to some of you about, but I haven't got to talk to all of you about, <coughs> the item number nine on your agenda, the hospital has got a deal where they can refinance that, the uh, bills up there, those bonds, for a much slower interest rate from the 7% they're paying down to three and a half and cut it in half. But to do so, they've got to change it into a, uh, a USDA loan from the bonds. So I need a motion to do that and to also to allow us to open up two bank accounts for it to pass through the county on. And authorize the treasurer to deposit $100 into each account. Yeah, and authorize the judge executive to sign those papers. I'll make a motion. Motion by Larry Morrison. Get all in there. I'll second a couple of questions. Though, second, So that, if, if we decide to ever go back, can you go back once it's a loan? I don't guess they, the, yeah, our yeah. bond potential is done, but will it always be a loan from this point on? Yes, but we can go back and refinance the loan for everyone, too. If you find somebody's going to yeah. do it at a lower rate. Get a lower rate, than, yeah. which is three, so. Three and a half, yeah. Like as low as you're going to get. We're not responsible, are we? We own it. It's ours. So we, but there's uh, people waiting in line wanting to buy it, and we've never wanted to sell it. <coughs> so you got the motion second, right? Yes. Okay. All in favor say aye. Opposed, like Zion? Motion carried. And, and I believe this next item, I believe Jason may be the only one I got to talk to about it. But uh, as you know, we own a little house on the corner of the, uh, by the Rosine Cemetery on a very small lot. We had dreams for things to happen that never did. We tried to get the Bill Monroe Foundation and the, all the different entities in the bluegrass music to do something with it. They didn't. Now we have private developers that are interested in taking it and making something out of it. Uh, so what I'm proposing is to declare it surplus and advertise it. But it wouldn't be sold till it comes back to this court and y'all agree for the price that we're getting for it. Well, we have to, we have, to have it appraised if we're going to sell any real estate. So it has to have it appraised. Uh, actually, we had one when we got it. We still need to do it again. Mm -hmm. yep, that's okay, we'll do that. Oh, we had it, That'll be about four or five years. I don't remember. Turn next to the cemetery. cemetery Road, big house right there on the left. White and green, right? Yeah, it was yeah. donated. Uh, right God donated. We went and tried to clean it up one toward year, uh, Cedar Grove. Yeah, toward Cedar Grove. Okay, yeah, I know where it's at now, yeah. House in pretty bad shape. It, it? it looks bad, but it's stable still. But it will come back for y'all to accept How it. much ground is there? Uh, not much at all. Not much at all. Less than a half acre, I believe. Maybe see if it tells right here. They're probably a quarter of an acre. Of that. We didn't have to pay nothing, but did we have to do any? We wasn't out nothing. No, volunteers went up there and worked a day or two. I believe Jason was in it. Does it tell them how much it is? How big it is? Uh, half acre. One half acre. I just yes, but it don't say nothing. It's also supposed to be twenty <coughs> square foot, and it seems like it's small. But what I'm proposing is to do it, declare surplus. <coughs> And then, like he said, but then we would uh, 
uh, get it appraised, and then we would advertise for bids. That's just one more thing we don't have to deal with, and it's, it's, yeah. it looks bad <coughs> in the community. And, and both of the people that approached the court about it, mm -hmm. there's two that are interested. They both want to develop and do something with it. And I, I'd say that several people will be interested. I mean, because like there'll be more than just Need a motion, or yes, please. I'll make a motion. Motion by Bo Ben. Second. Second by Jason Bullock. Any further discussion? And like I said, it will still come back to you before it's sold, but to approve it. So how of, many how many properties does the county own like that? I would have to get back with you. We own a few. I believe that's the only one that actually has a dwelling house on it, though. No, I believe. the one that the senior thing does, don't you? Well, it's it. Uh, you're right. You're right. Uh, Is somebody currently renting that one? No, we actually we actually advertised for bids on it once and didn't get any several years ago. Much ground already just a lot, isn't it? Yeah, and it joins the senior center, so it would be all part of it. Matter of fact, uh, the uh, management of the senior center wants to tear it down. I've been resistant, always resistant to tearing down things. All in favor say aye. Uh -huh. Opposed, like sign. So give me the personnel thing that we have. We decided to tear it down, probably get the inmates to do it, couldn't we? Probably so, yeah. Look at it sometime you're up there. Uh, oh, go over and go through it. it. It's, it's pretty rough. Yeah. Um, is there two here or just one? One. one. Okay. I have one personnel uh, issue. Your information's on page two. Don't look at that one. Okay. We want to uh, hire. Uh, no, it's a status change. Status change, I'm sorry. We have status change on Tamara Guzman. From part time to full time, fourteen sixty four per hour. Um, effective uh, next Sunday. It's on there. I'm having trouble finding the date. I think July first. Effective July first. Sorry. So just a roll call. McKinney. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Bennett. Yes. Johnston. Yes. Morphew? Yes. Okay. Here you go. Now, uh, Jason, you're up. Here you go, Jason. Item number 12 is yours. If you're ready to move. If you're not, we'll put it off. Justin, what do you, have you talked to them about this right here? Um, what's that? On extension. Uh, extension of, this is, this is the extension of Hawker Lane. Oh, Lane. yes. I, I talked to them a little bit. Uh, it looks like from what they showed me, uh, and, and speaking to the judge, that this may have already been some county or public roadway that just never was maintained. Well, it was the way I look at it, it was it was a, a roadway extent. It was a when it when they they, they did the subdivision back in the 60s, 50s, 60s, I don't know, 70s, I don't know, what, I think 60s. They made an easement through there, and you'll see it on the map. Yeah, the plan of the road goes past the... the yes, area. it goes past, it connects to the property we're talking about right here. So, Where's it at, Jason? Um, you know where Jerry Shepherd lives? Yeah. If you go down to the end of that, you know, we extended the Silver house. Silver subdivision? Yeah, Silver subdivision. We extended it actually five or six years ago for that house on the end. But now they're, uh, the Vincents want to extend it onto their property, which is probably another... 60 feet or so, but they're gonna and they're gonna make a road and build like four to six houses back there. There is a uh, Hayward's Banks. Oh man, yeah. it don't matter. I just curious. But so um, my thing is, we have to advertise, and do we have to do that? And since it's well, an extension, so if based on my conversations with the judge and his indications, and and uh, Vincent, if it's already on the map, it looked like that 60 feet was already on the map and you probably took I mean it'd be a long time ago to check if we took all of that in but I would mm -hmm. imagine we took all of that in a long time ago we just hadn't maintained it and so you, you wouldn't necessarily have to to go through the process of opening up what if you have a property owner that resists uh, but I don't believe there is any there except them 
if you do, the safest thing is always to do the average, just as well as what you I do have one on the end, and that's just why I'm trying to, because there's one on the end that doesn't like the thought of it going the rest of the way through her property, which she's, I told her, I said, well, the reason your house is where it is today is because that easement was there, and we extended it, and people didn't like it, but, you know, that's why that road was extended, and now they're wanting to do that. But I'm afraid... What happens in that situation? That's all my question. Well, the better position, if if the court uh, wants to do this, the better position is always if there's some objection to do the process of the similar to opening the road, which is putting notices and, and the posting of notices and everything. You know, I've got the checklist on the opening the road. We mm -hmm. have to have the committee appointed and everything of that nature. Everything I've seen and looked, I think that they, they're entitled to put the road through there. I mean, the easement's it, there. It looks to me like the easement yes, is there. Yes, but I don't want to push something through, so I would really like to go through the process. Of, okay. Uh, Judge, we just need to put a, we just need to appoint a road uh, committee to do it as we normally do for the opening Chase the coming in now. Yeah, I think that's Chase. It okay. is. Hi. Hey, we're talking about you. Sorry, I'm late. Like, oh. So do we just need to go ahead and start that process and advertise and then or appoint the viewing committee and then mm. it's up to you. You yeah. just tell me what you want to do. Okay. And uh, the proposed the proposed the proposed length is going to the road extension will be three hundred foot. Okay, so but the 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 area we're talking about that has an easement already is probably fifty feet, maybe forty feet. But then that 40 feet would run into Chase's property, and we would he would fix the road, and then we would take it in at that point on. And we're talking about a total length of 300 feet. Okay. My question is the 40 feet between where our blacktop ends to his property. There clearly shows an easement through there. Yeah, I, I don't see any problem, but if you recommend we go through the regular road taking in process, we'll do it. Uh, only have one easement to sign, and that's the property owner that's only done. So I don't see that a problem. I don't want yeah, if, if, if we do that, then uh, I have a petition uh, case that you fill out. It's just a one-page petition. It just kind of indicates to them what the width and the what do. I'm assuming the road will be wider than the 40 feet. What is the what's the plat of easement? Do you remember? 40. 40. Okay. So that would qualify. So you just have a petition to mm -hmm. uh, to fill out to indicate to. Uh, what happens if somebody resists at that part, though? That's kind of what I—that's what I'm thinking. What? I mean, once you once you appoint the committee and, and they make their recommendations mm -hmm. and the notices are, are placed, uh, certainly then this court can make the decision on what's. Better. But if there's an easement already through there and they they yeah. see that and find that there's there's really nothing I, they can do. I, to I, don't, I, I don't see there is any. Resistance. I don't think so either. No, I mean, it, it, so if, if, assuming that uh, uh, the plant hasn't had any modification from the one I've seen. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, if Chase decided to build a road himself within that easement portion, mm -hmm. you know, regardless of whether it's a county road or not, as long as it's a patented land roadway within that subdivision, then <coughs> it had to be a county specification in order to take it in. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to point uh, uh, Rip Wright, Jason Barden, and uh. Charlie Shields to look at the road. And I did talk to the other lady on the other side, and her biggest concern was that the road was going to go all the way through to Alpine's Road. That is not going to happen now, so she's not as concerned about it. So. Okay. Okay, well, we'll do it, and we'll get... It's going to be a dead end. It's going to dead end, yeah. It's like from, we're going to extend it 300, well, once they get in... We're... It'll be extended the same length that Miller currently is. So Miller has two more houses on it right now, Mm -hmm. Miller's the, the road that runs parallel to Hawker, closer to 231. It's the one where the, the, the road connects with the, with the mill, yeah. the millings. There was an old county road, I think, that, that went through to Apple House. Mm -hmm. uh, that's Calvin Johnson's property that he mm -hmm. has since covered up with millings. So, but as far as I can recall, that Miller has always been a dead end um, past those two houses. Hawker stops short, uh, two houses short of what Miller does. We're looking to build four houses, two on the north side, two on the south side, to basically just extend Hawker out the same length that Miller currently is. Mm -hmm. uh, we looked at, uh, at one point, developing that entire property, 
but there's a long haul transmission line that runs through uh, east west through the southern portion of that property that we can't build under anyway. So that stopped us short, and we said we'll just stop at the at the first four lots. Um, and we figured that we, we could go one more out on the north side, but your backyard would be a mountain of mealings and, and Purdue trucks, and we figured no one would want that. So, so later you might look at it. Yeah. Okay, I don't see a problem with it. Get the, that uh, petition and easements, well, petition signed for sure, and uh, we'll get it done to the next meeting. So, Rip, you can see that's done for the next meeting, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. And, and some of the paperwork I have, if you want to see it or check, you know, with the, as far as the only problem and concern is I, there is an easement there, but I think it was plotted, plotted when the, the the subdivision was put in. I don't think the county road took in the easements. You know what I mean, all the way to the end of it. But it was there for the landowners, which connects to his property. Yeah, yeah I mean, most plants do not. Platted subdivisions mm -hmm. do not extend all the way to the adjoining property owner. There may be five feet, two feet, or whatever mm -hmm. for purposes of, so that the adjoining landowner could not connect. Here, it went, it, it, it went right past the, sub, the subdivision. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we have our the, committee appointed? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, don't forget to put We're back on the agenda, on the agenda yeah. back. And also, don't forget to run the ad on the house. Mm -hmm. For seal bids. Okay, uh, we're now we're ready for committee reports. And Michael, I know you have one with the animal shelter. Uh, yes, I'd like to make a motion uh, to go ahead and purchase the vehicle that we had spoke about several meetings back. There was some discrepancy on what the truck was being used for and so forth. I think we all weren't on the same page. But uh, I'd like to make a motion for Ann to be able to write a check to Bachman Chevrolet for $36,010 for the purchase of a 2024 Chevrolet Colorado crew cab work truck. I have a motion to have a second. And that's in our call service. How much was it did we put in there for that? The, you have it there, Yeah, there's a... Uh, $37,000. Okay. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's about $3,000 less than what we had appropriated. Y'all so bring has the money. Uh, well, I don't have the money in the bank, but it's up in the state. It's up to Yeah, it's about $1,900 less than what we had appropriated for this project. Okay, did I have a second? <laughs> second. Second by Bo Bennett. Any further discussion? Being none, I'm ready to say aye. Opposed, like sign. I don't need any more. Motion passed. Um, was, there, was there any other committees meet <laughs> since our last meeting? Any other committees meet? <coughs> um, don't forget. We do need to address the road department, the bids for the truck. None were received and it wasn't put in the minutes. For the dump truck. <coughs> okay. Okay, you have the mount on it there? There were no bids received. I know, but there was a quote sent in, right? All we need is to say they took bids and there were no bids received. Okay, okay, okay. They, okay. Didn't, they didn't send a bid either. Okay, so he'll have to get back and address it. Okay. So if no bids are re received, then. Just put that in the minutes, the advertisement for the. Uh, Truck, no bids were received. Then I believe he can sell it and bring it back to us then. Okay, any other committees, mate? If not, we're going to we're going to call on on the magistrates, Michael. Yeah, well, it's entirely you didn't take both, but you don't on need what? a roll call. But on what for the Chevy Colorado? Oh, I'm sorry. Back up. Vote. All in favor say aye. All right. Aye. Post like sign. Motion carried. Sorry about that. Uh, Anne distracted me. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so, Michael, as your as first district magistrate, you're up. Uh, this doesn't actually pertain to the first district. This is Larry's district uh, in Cromwell. Uh, I had learned a little bit more about the Cromwell ballpark and 
things that were going on up there. Uh, I like as the court as a whole, we need to maybe revisit uh, helping them uh, in regards to the, the water problem that they had. Uh, we can talk about it later. We can table that, or I guess uh, put that on next uh, meeting's agenda. I think that they would come and, and okay. talk to us about it. Was well, that what you want to do? Just have it put on I, the agenda. I'd like to. I just, I just got word of it about an hour before the meeting. I apologize. I didn't. Can you make your note to put that on the agenda, on Miranda? Facebook yeah. Well, they're, okay. getting, they're getting donations on get it taken care of. Yeah. It's a total different board, and okay. but they can't re, they can't um, they can't relieve them of the responsibility of it because when they redid the 501c at the state, they kept the same name. Although the board members changed and everyone over it's different. Okay. So they're still going to be obligated to pay that. Okay. And I spoke with Eric while I was in the truck, and we, that's, that, that amounts to the amount we need to pay, or someone needs to pay. So okay. I just think we, we could help them. I know they're getting some donations to help that, okay. but we need to see what they're going to need okay. to finish that. They did redo all of the bathrooms, and in order to flush the lines and to get the water back on, they've got to take care of the the whole $1,800 amount. Okay. Oh, okay. Good deal. We'll get them on the agenda for the next time. You got Thank any you. other? I don't, I don't have anything for the first district. Okay. Jason. No. Thank you. Uh, Bo. Uh, just, I've had a lot of people calling in about the storm debris and ditches and stuff, but the road department's working hard to, they are working to hard. Uh, get all that cleaned up, so appreciate them. Now, since you opened it, I will make that report that the uh, road department, and we're sorry that there's jobs that's not getting done, but they will, because we can't, don't have the option of pulling off of the debris cleanup to uh, do other jobs and then come back to the debris cleanup, because what we're telling FEMA is it's an emergency, so that's why we're on it, yeah. to get reimbursed, but then we can't pull off of it and go back on it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Okay, thank you. That, nope, that's it. Thank you. When are we going to find out about how much money we're going to get for our blood top and then when will... It's going to be a while. It, I seriously doubt it'll be this paving season. You mean we're not going to blood top of roads this year? Well, not until... If we do, it'll be late. What's the reason? Coast service money come in slow. And that's the only way we've got to pay for it. It's coming in slower. Has uh, anybody put it going to put bids in instead other than Scotty's? You don't know that till we get it. Packets or? We don't, they they don't technically pick up packets really anymore. I, I mainly email them out on a case-to-case -case basis when somebody calls in. Very rarely does somebody come by anymore. I don't. I haven't had any other asphalt company request one. One out of Orangeburg was supposed to have. Uh, what was the name? Jaeger. No, Jaeger and, no, and Scotty's have a non They don't usually, yeah. They have a non compete deal. <coughs> but Scotty's ain't done us right the last few years. We're yeah. Now, I'll tell you what, if he puts a bid in, he can. Donald can put a bid in if he wants to. No, but there's supposed to be one out of the world. Master pavers. Okay. Did he come in here to the meeting back in here one time and talk to us? I uh, believe so. He did. Yeah, he did. He did. Yes, he did. Yeah. That's right. And so it maybe could be. When do they have to be in? Next meeting? Before, before the, the next meeting. A day before, I believe, ain't it? No. A few days? No. 21st, 12 o'clock. The 21st at 12 o'clock. Uh, and that doesn't mean that they didn't request it. Maybe one of their... I've had a lot of females calling in, getting, you know, having me send it to them. It could have been a clerical person. The email could be different. They could have requested it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, uh, yeah, and then don't forget... That meeting, we're going to be here four again to open the bids for a five o'clock meeting to accept them. You know how we always do it, we yeah. accept them at four. Yeah. I mean, go open them at four and accept them at five. Or not accept them, which we have accepted do. all of the bids before. We have, and we've accepted none of them before, too. Yeah. Yeah. So we have all those options. Do you have anything else there? That's it. That's all I got. Judge, on, I would mention that. I went and looked at uh, Paris 67.08.02 uh, just to see if it would permit the uh, sealed bids. Uh, 
um, without appraisal. As long as we follow the 45A365, which is similar to what we do in other situations in some of those bidding, uh, we could do it that way if that's the pleasure of the court, but we will have to make a written determination of four factors as to why that is. And Because uh, there's no problem getting the appraiser. We know one, don't we, Cassidy? There's no problem getting it. Yeah, and so you can you can get the appraisal for purposes of uh, determining whether the bid's appropriate or not, but you do not have to have that okay. appraisal if you take the sealed bid and a forty-five pay three sixty-five. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, and he actually did it before. Okay, would you got? Did you get that, Miranda? Yeah, there, there's no motion there. Yeah. I know. Which I've already got a note to advertise. Well, if we could do this, and I can provide the written to supplement to the meeting, uh, the property description and the address, Judge, again? It is um, 73 State Route 1544, Rosing, Kentucky. And what deed book and page number is that? It is on deed book 444, page 544. What was the intended use at the time that we received? We were going to... Tourism. Uh, Make a, uh, uh, a like Video a bed and breakfast, bed and, breakfast like and then a room for people to play record music in. And then we have to say why it is in the best interest of the public to dispose of it now. It never, the, the intended use never did materialize. We were counting on volunteers to do the work and it never did materialize. Okay, so all cost of upkeep, continued upkeep, I guess. Um, if, if we had upkeep, it would have been tough. Unfortunately, we didn't. And then we're going to use sealed bids. Oh. Yes. All right. I'll get you something, Miranda, to put supplement to me. And there will still have to be a motion to the court to, to sell it. So it's, yeah, everybody will get to weigh in on it again. On the next agenda. And I would encourage any of you who want to go look at it to look at it. Um, well, does anybody else have anything for the good of the body? Sheriff, you have anything? All right. We will call this meeting adjourned and uh, we'll